Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to insert content delivery into Salesforce and get the public URL from uh, the content delivery. Alright, so before we start, um, as we all know content delivery is not available for Lightning, uh, therefore we can use uh, Titan uh, to manipulate this and insert form into Lightning and do it directly from Lightning. So I'm in Classic right now and I'll show you how you would do it normally. So we're going to click on uh, Deliver Content and you would need to choose a file. Um, let's say I'll choose this one and it will upload your file. After that, you can check a bunch of stuff here and notify me and remove access and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna leave everything as it is and relate to account. This is my account where I'm delivering the content to. Save and next. And now we'll create an online version. Once that done, it will give me the link to uh, the public link for this to be uh, accessed at. Okay, so that's done and we have the public link and if I'll access the link now, let's say in incognito mode, I'll be able to view the, the file. Give Salesforce a second, loading the preview. And there it is. Okay, still waiting. All right, there it is. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to do the same in Form Titan. We want to upload a file into an account or any other object and get that URL here and then we can do whatever we want with it. Alright, so let's start. Now, the thing, the complicated thing here is that it takes time for the, for the public URL to be generated. So we had to do some manipulations on the form side. So let's take a look. First of all, Let's go back to our form builder and let's start with our pushes. Okay, so pushes are very simple. First thing, we're gonna create a, an insert file, which is a content version. And our mapping is fairly simple. The only thing we're doing is mapping the file upload to the version data in Salesforce and the first published location ID to the SF record ID. It's a hidden field, which we will pass in the URL. Um, to the form, okay, and it's a custom action. And our next move is to create the content delivery. Just simple creation. And let's take a look at our mapped fields. So our content version ID is our content version that which we created in the uh, in the first push which we mapped into a hidden field. I'll show you that in just a second. Related record ID, Salesforce record ID. And I just allowed download to a bunch of stuff here. And I set the require password, the require password to false. So we have a bunch of Boolean trues and some false. You can set this up however you like. So this is our pushes. Both of them are custom actions and my submit Let's call this uh, get file link. This is a custom action. It's a Salesforce action button. And we're creating first a file. We have custom execution order and mapping the inserted um, file to inserted ID, which is the uh, content version ID. And our next thing here is push our content delivery. So we're pushing it to the content delivery ID. Now, the tricky part here that once you push the content delivery ID, uh, once you push the content delivery, you don't have the, the, the URL immediately. It takes time for Salesforce to process and uh, to create that link. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, content distribution, which is the content delivery object behind the scenes. What we're looking for is the distribution public URL. And for that, it takes a little time to generate. So what we've done here is something really cool. So once we, uh, once we get the content version ID and we run everything else, we're creating the content delivery ID. Okay, so once we created this, we have a condition on this saying, if this is not empty, then we're gonna execute some JavaScript. 
And what this JavaScript will do is basically set interval. And what we're going to get is the public URL. Okay, this is our public URL. It's a different hidden. And what we're doing with the public URL, we're checking if it's empty. So if it's empty, we're going to set FLD55, which is our random hidden. I'll show you that in the builder in just a second. And we're telling it to run. Okay, and then if our public URL is already full, we're going to kill the interval. So it's not going to run anymore. And I'm going to show you that in the console as well. Okay, so let's take a look at our hidden. So we have three events here. So the content delivery, which we get the moment we push the content delivery. The random is telling us basically run the get for the content delivery public URL. And the content delivery public URL is our result. So once we have this, we know we're done. Now let's take a look at our get and we'll see how this works. So the first get is for, for the files. We don't really need this. This is just for the content version. So we can get rid of this. And our next thing here is the content delivery. And now basically what we mapped here, I mapped the uh, the external link, which is the public URL to a bunch of stuff just to show you the different uh, the different um, types of stuff we can do with it. So we have a, we have a, um, we're mapping it directly to an image or mapping it to a um, href to a dynamic to a hyperlink and we're mapping it to a text box and we're mapping it to our hidden content delivery public URL, which is the most important one because our condition is based off of that. So if I'll go to the random, which we're setting by the JavaScript, by the set interval. So we're saying on the random, if the random is not empty because we're setting it to run. So what we're going to do here is call the Salesforce action. Now this is going to run every three seconds and check Salesforce if the if the public URL is there or not. And if it's not there, it's going to keep on running until we get it. And if it's there already and we mapped it, then we're going to kill the interval. All right, I hope I explained it well enough. And let's just see how this works. So I mapped FLD66, which is my Salesforce record ID. To, uh, to an account. Let's take a look at our account. It's this guy over here. <clears throat> okay, we have two uh, content deliveries and let's uh, run our form. So I'm just going to refresh this. I'm going to start with a file upload. Let's select a donkey. And let's get this guy. Okay. And I'm going to hit the get file link and I've set up some conditions here for the GIF and just to make it nice. Now we can see our random just changed into run and there we have everything we want. So this is the download URL. So if I'll click this, it will get me to the download file. And this is how it's done.